everybody I'm trying a new format which is video blogging I prefer to video as opposed to type so this is going to be my first installment in the video blog and I really just want to share an experience that I had over the weekend at Walmart excuse me but um I guess from doing the video you all can tell that I have um, a severe gap in my teeth and for me that has been a very very uh, painful and sore spot it has caused me to not want to speak a lot and um, for those who know me or who have been in my presence you'll notice that even when I laugh or smile I tend to cover my mouth it puts you in the mind of um, the color purple and Miss Seeley who used to cover her smile all the time so I um, you know it, it's my own issue I just resolved within myself that um, when the funds became available I would get my teeth fixed and it's just that simple so um, but it remained a very sore spot for me and a very um, challenging issue for me and so I'm in Walmart and and I'm not looking any kind of special I actually have a a scarf tied around my head and um, you know I have on some Crocs with some uh, some uh, sports socks and and I'm looking really like I just came you know walked out of the house still with my house clothes on I had on some capris and in a jacket and and I'm not looking any kind of special at all and um, there was a lady there and she looked at me and she said your eyes are so pretty and I said, oh, thank you very much. And, and, you know, I smiled, not really realizing that I smiled without covering it up. So I smiled, and she said, no, your eyes really are. She said, are those your natural eye colors? And I said, no, um, I actually got them here from Walmart. And she said, oh, but um, she said, well, they look very natural, and, and, and I just wanted to let you know that they look really pretty. And I said, well, thank you very much. And um, I started to walk away, and she started to walk away. And then she turns back and she says, I, I can tell you have God in your heart. I can tell, you know, that, that you believe in God and that you're a Christian. And, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, how can you tell? Really? You know, how can you tell? And she was just saying that it was your smile. And I could have felt it. You could have knocked me over with a feather. It's my smile. She said, yeah, it's something about your smile. It's your smile. And, and. I instantly got goosebumps and the moral to this story I mean we talked for a bit after that um, and she shared some stuff with me and and we talked and, and parted ways and but the the message or the moral to that story is something that I had internalized and not really shared with too many people you know I, I went to God about it because it was such a, a sore and tender issue with me was my smile and and this gap in my teeth and um, you know God used a complete stranger to first and foremost let me know that he did hear me and that um, you know he wanted to let me know that he did hear me which was amazing to me and something that I thought was a flaw something that I looked at as a negative um, he used a complete stranger to let me know that you know it, it's not about what I see it's about the love of God that shines through me and that's what people see so I don't need to be so caught up on my physical appearance because and I'm not saying that nobody can see my gap I'm not saying that what I'm saying is you know when when we allow the love of God to penetrate our heart and and just to radiate through us and and when we try to walk in the love of God you know it shows so things that we become worried about and caught up on really don't matter they really don't matter at all and and God always finds a way to let you know that he does hear you and I just wanted to share so um just look for more videos from me.